ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann with the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is coming from ABC 3340 in Birmingham on Monday afternoon, the 9th of July. And hey, it's raining on many folks today. We'll celebrate that for a state that is still in a severe drought despite the rain of recent days. There's our Birmingham Sky Cam on top of the Daniel Building looking west. Raindrops on the lens. It's always a good thing to see. And by golly, the same thing down in Chilton County. That's our Sky Cam in Clanton. Looking back off to the north, nice uh, batch of showers and storms passing through Chilton County, producing a lot of lightning and heavy rain in spots. And from Demopolis, that's the uh, shot on top of the Demopolis Civic Center looking north up the Tom Bigby and off in the distance, a nice rain shaft over in Greene County. And that's part of a batch of showers that's pretty active across West Alabama right now. Here's a look at our big picture this afternoon, water vapor satellite imagery, and on top of that, the 500 millibar chart, and you can see a nice little dip in the height line off to the west of here, that short wave aiding in the formation of showers and storms over Arkansas, Mississippi, and Alabama today. And the old PW values are pretty high. This is the precipitable water uh, across all of Alabama. The precipitable water totals are between one and a half and two inches. The most juicy air is over that far southeastern tip of the state down there in Henry and Houston counties. And boy, look at the moisture over South Carolina. 2.1 inches is the precipitable water value over there. But it's juicy all across the deep south. And uh, you factor in a little lift from a short wave off to the west and boom, there you go. Showers and storms pretty active. Now, yep, they're scattered, but uh, now where it's raining, it's pouring. Uh, some of the heavier rains there uh, over West Alabama is of 118 this afternoon through Lamar and Pickens counties, and a lot of rain around the Birmingham metro as well. We hear the rumble of thunder here at our studio in River Chase. Here's a look at the next rad estimating the rainfall so far today. Heavier totals over parts of northern Sumter, Green, and southern Pickens counties. That's suggesting some three inch amounts over there. Uh, up in northeast Alabama, big rains there between Atala and Boaz. Uh, closer to Boaz morning, had some minor street flooding. But uh, if you miss the showers today, you'll have plenty of opportunities this week. Severe weather outlook, the convective outlook for the rest of the day and tonight. The risk areas are up north. And the old QPF map, this is the expected rain across the country for the next five days. And once again, nice to see all those nice shades of blue and purple across our state. Uh, that's suggesting rainfall amounts of really one and a half to two and a half inches over the north with lighter amounts down south and as usual the heaviest rain over parts of texas and oklahoma now, really from dallas up toward uh, McAllister. let's roll through some model output what do you say this is the gfs the 12z run valid at one o'clock tomorrow one o'clock tuesday afternoon at 500 millibars Note the uh, little patches of yellow northwest of the state, one west of Memphis, one near Oklahoma City, and uh, that will aid again in the formation of showers and storms tomorrow. Probably like today, they will be scattered to numerous, and like today where they form, they will drop heavy amounts of rain in spots because of those high precipitable water values. Wednesday, look what's coming, a cold front up north, uh, still juicy air down here, cold front from near Detroit down to about uh, oh Oklahoma City. And Thursday, look at the vortex here developing over eastern Canada, the trough extending down into the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley and the Tennessee Valley. And that should get that front down to near the Alabama-Tennessee border on Thursday. And that should bring a pretty generous coverage of showers and storms. Friday, the front will be stalling and fizzling north of here. So we think Friday will be a day again with some chance of scattered showers and storms. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, another front Secondary boundary pushes down in here, and again, with that moist air mass going, in, uh, going nowhere, we think Saturday will be a day with, once again, scattered to numerous showers and storms. And then Sunday, we'll go back up top, and again, you can see the uh, trough over the east, ridge over the west, and at the surface, whoa, the GFS develops a little surface low near Asheville, North Carolina, and pushes the front all the way down to Dothan and dries out much of Alabama. I think that might be a little anomalous for mid-July. In fact, I know it is. That's July 15th. 
And I don't think we really need to buy into that just yet. I think we better keep a chance of showers and storms going on Sunday, even though this run is bone dry. Monday of next week, the GFS keeps dry air over the northern two-thirds of the state. Uh, we'll believe that when we see it. Let's get a few more runs under our belt before we change anything. Now, we'll quickly go out there in the future. This is valid the 21st of July. High amplitude in the westerlies over the northern part of the continent there. And it's, again, the trough ridge trough configuration. And once again, that's going to drive a weak surface boundary down this way, not passing through here, but perhaps enhancing the chance of showers and storms. At the end of the forecast cycle, this valid the 25th of July, the good news, what we showed you this morning, that nasty 594 upper high is not showing up. Now, we've got a flat ridge all across the deep south, but the heights are not as high on this run, uh, which looks a little more reasonable based on what's happened so far this summer. And that looks pretty typical, hot and muggy with... A few spots getting a passing afternoon storm, if this is correct. That's it for the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video posted here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC, uh, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.